hi everyone welcome back to style blender and in today's video i am turning my old top into summer frogs for my two beautiful babies and one is for a three years old and the second one is going to be for six months old so for the first one i am taking this floral fabric and these are the leftover pieces from my other project and this one I am making for three years old. So here I am deciding how I'm going to mark for the bodice. Once I lay my fabric uh, correctly or the way I want it to be. So uh, first I'm going to do that and then I'm going to start marking on it. So this print I am using for the bodice. So here is the bodice piece and so for those who are curious what are the measurements i'm going to tell you right now which is the length of the bodice is eight inches the shoulders are five inches the length of the armhole is five inches and uh, the chest is seven inches and the waistline is six and a half inches but if you don't know how to take the measurements all you have to do is lay your old shirt or t-shirt and make sure you had one inch extra for seam allowance anyways uh, now i'm going to uh, mark for the diagonal line this is where i'm going to create a little stylish bodice piece so from the armhole i marked two inches downwards and i am going to join this mark to the bodice line which was eight inches from the middle so now i'm going to cut all the fabric so this is the front of the bodice piece now for the back bodice piece i am going to use some extra fabric because i have to attach either the zipper or the button strip it's entirely up to you so first i'm going to make sure I have little extra fabric for the zipper. I decided to use the zipper. So I'm just going to take a half an inch extra from the folding area. Make sure for the back you don't need to have a folding area because eventually you have to cut it for the zipper or button strip. Now my front and back pieces are cut. Now for the rest of the piece, I'm going to fold it like this uh, wherever it lays perfectly from this fabric i'm going to cut the sleeves because it's for summer so i want little frilly so that's why this bias cut is really good for that so i marked on the four inches i will cut the rest of the fabric that way Now I'm going to cut the bottom part or the skirt part for the frog. This is how my old top looks like. So it is a high-low top. Now I'm going to lay it flat. And from the bottom, I am taking 13. In. And here I am marking with the help of pin. now it's time to lay my bodice piece on top of it so it looks something like that now i'm just following the line and with the help of pins i'm going to mark it i'm going to cut it like that and i will show you how it looks like because this is really wide so i have to create gathers and it would look something like this so here you can see i joined the front part now this is the back part for the back part i uh, stitch from the middle because i decided to attach the zipper at the very end so i sewed half inch already and now from the midpoint i am going to create gathers make sure you do that too because uh, that way you would have equal pleats on both sides of the skirt and this is how it looks like 
for the front from the front and back now i'm going to sew the sides and join the shoulders attach the zippers and uh, i will also sew the sleeves as well and then i will show you For the weight of the neckline i mark two inches the depth for the back of the neckline is two inches and for the front is three inches to three and a half inches um, it's up to your taste after that i will join the zipper Once my zipper is stitched, I'm going to open the seams. And uh, you can do this before attaching the skirt part because my, uh, I had the t-shirt. So it was already stitched and I didn't want to redo it because my top was already overlocked and it was a stretchy material. So it's better to use the original seams. Once everything is done, I join the shoulders. Here are the sleeves, which I cut from the leftover fabric. So this is the first dress and looks so nice and comfy. My daughter wore it on the beach and looks so cute on her. Now it's time to cut the second piece, which is uh, for the six month, four to six months babies, depending on the feet and health of the baby. So for this top, I am marking from the bottom because the cut is already been made. And from the top, the neckline is too wide. So I don't want to use that part. For the measurements, you can use the old t-shirts or um, I can tell you what I did. So the length of the bodice, was eight inches again because i wanted to have a long longer bodice because my fabric wasn't enough for uh, the bottom of the dress so the again this is the leftover fabric and i use this fabric so total length i wanted 17 inches 16 inches we are using the same method as we used for the first uh, dress and now I'm going to cut from the bottom and cut according to the shape. bottom and top is ready now I'm going to cut the sleeves I am making a raglan sleeves here first I mark on two and a half inches to three inches uh, for the neckline and uh, underneath I placed my sleeves fabric and you make sure you put the pins so your fabric won't move around a lot and I just created the diagonal line wherever it feels like coming naturally All right, so after that, I'm going to cut the frills from the rest of the fabric. And uh, this would look something like this. 
And from the leftover pieces, I decided to make the diver pants or underpants, whatever you want to call it. And you can just look at it. Hopefully you would understand what I'm doing. So these are the sleeves area I'm using. And I'm using the old panties of my daughter uh, to just to have a little guide. The method is same uh, to sew this dress like we did it for the first one. I am creating small pleats because um, this is the easiest way to sew perfect pleats. Uh, first you have to join, first you have to pin the midpoints and then you have to start creating pleats on both areas that way it's going to be easier for you. So you can first use pins to create pleats and to hold them and once they're done then you can just go ahead and sew them. So this is the front and back done. Now I'm going to cut the neckline right now so it would be easy for me to do the rest of the sewing part so the neckline width is one and a half inches the depth for the back is one and a half inches and the depth for the front is two inches cut the necklines and then we'll attach the sleeves So I joined the shoulder on one side but left the other one open because that part I am going to attach the button strip. This is where I am going to sew the open so the baby can wear it easily.
So I attached the frill at the end of the dress and I also finished the neckline. Also, I sewed the button strips on the shoulder area of the frog and the frog is ready. Now I'm going to show you both the dresses and they look so they look super cute and super comfy. They are so colorful and uh, summer friendly at the same time. So these are the final results. I hope you like it. If you have kids at your home, enjoy this project. If you don't, make it for someone you know. Have fun, enjoy sewing, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Until the next time, take care you all. Bye.